Eric Trump blasts Kellyanne Conway's husband for showing disrespect towards wife. Eric Trump took to Twitter late Monday to call out White House counselor Kellyanne Conway's husband George Conway. President Trump's son, Eric Trump, took to Twitter late Monday to call out White House counselor Kellyanne Conway's husband George Conway, a fierce critic of President Trump who earlier suggested that a tweet from the president was tantamount to witnesses tampering. Eric Trump did not specify what prompted the tweet, but wrote, of all the ugliness in politics, the utter disrespect George Conway shows toward his wife, her career, place of work. And everything she has fought so hard to achieve, might top them all. The rare public rebuke came after Conway's husband, an attorney, responded to a tweet from the president praising the longtime Republican operative Roger Stone. Stone said in an interview he would never testify against the president. Stone told ABC on Sunday that he'd be forced to make things up, and I am not going to do that. The president praised Stone's comment in a tweet, saying, that his longtime ally will not be forced by a rogue and out-of-control prosecutor to make up lies and stories about President Trump, nice to know that some people still have guts. Conway's husband responded on Twitter to the president's praise for Stone and referenced the statutes of tampering with the witness and obstruction of justice. George Conway responded to Eric Trump's tweet by retweeting a user who wrote, of all the ugliness in politics, the utter disrespect the Trumps show toward the rule of law. The presidency and its place of work, and everything this nation has fought so hard to achieve might top them all. Donald Trump is a terrible person and frankly his actions are horrible. The Washington Post reported last month that Conway's husband told a podcast that the Republican Party has become a personality cult, and he would prefer to move to Australia than vote for Trump. Conway was asked recently about her husband's criticism of Trump and said, it doesn't affect me or my job at all. Her husband has also downplayed their differences of opinions, according to the Post. If I had a nickel for everybody in Washington who disagrees with their spouse on something that happens in this town, I won't be on this podcast. I'd be probably on a beach somewhere, he said.